Hello everyone and welcome once again to Captain Goodspeed Maths. I'm Joe if you're new around here and today we are covering the OCR FSMQ course on the new specification and today we are talking about circles. So the learning objective today is to be able to understand and apply the equation of a circle. So let's get into it. The definition of a circle is a set of points that lie a fixed distance from a fixed distance from a fixed point. The fixed distance is the radius and the fixed point is the centre of the circle. So if we draw a nice circle, we've got a centre AB and a radius, uh, I, I guess it's going to be R in a minute, there you go. So uh, uh, to a point anyway on the, the outside of the circle, it's going to be the same distance wherever you are on this circle, wherever this XY is placed along the circle we're going to have a fixed distance which is r which is going to be the radiance so we know um the distance of that uh, is r and if we work that out using our distance equation from the start of the course uh, then we'd be able to to say that uh, that r is equal to that so there you go i've just done it there so the square root of x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r uh, or better known as um, x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. Getting rid of that ugly square root, that is what we're going to call it, and that is the equation of, of a circle with centre a, b, and radius r. Learn that, because if you know that, you can work out anything to do with circles. So just to, to sort of recap that, we have a centre point a, b uh, of this circle. Any point on this circle x, y... Uh, is is a distance r away from it and you know using our distance uh, a, a sort of length of a line formula that we learned at the start of the course which was the square root of, oh dear me <laughs> don't, don't be that untidy in your exam but it's back take back uh, squared so d minus b uh, squared plus um, c minus a squared Terrible uh, writing from me here. Using a mouse, of course, but uh, back take back squared added to front take front squared, all square rooted, is uh, the length of a line. So the line uh, connecting the centre to the outside is the radius, of course. Um, so we just replace that L with an R, and that's exactly what we get here. And, and obviously the C with an X, because uh, that is our back coordinate, if you like. Uh, no, sorry, our front coordinate of the sec the front second coordinate is what I'm trying to say. And uh, the y is our second back coordinate. So uh, back take back squared added to front take front squared uh, equals um, r, which is our radius. Uh, and then all I've done there is get rid of the ugly square root sign and uh, said r squared is equal to x minus a squared plus y minus b squared. Uh, and that is your uh, circle equation that you want to learn and take into the exam. So example one, give the centre and radius of the circle x minus 4 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to 25. So straight away, uh, we can write it like that. We know that uh, the centre is AB. And remember, our form was x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. So there you go. We, we compare uh, coefficients, I guess. And we say, well, our a must be a 4. Our b must be a minus 1, because it's y minus b, and we've got plus 1. So how do we make um, minus b equal plus 1? Well, we make b uh, minus 1. And r must be 5, because the square root of 25 is 5, funnily enough. Because remember, that 25 is r squared. It's not r, it's r squared. That is a very common misconception. Make sure you understand that uh, going into the exam. So there you go, we've got uh, the centre of the circle being a 4 minus 1, and uh, it has a radius of 5. So there you go, if you want to draw it, that's exactly what it is there. Um, you can see uh, the centre of the circle is at 4 minus 1, and the uh, radius is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Example 2 then, give the centre and radius of the circle x squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 8. Sorry. Uh, so first we've got to write it in the correct form. Remember, 
this is the uh, uh, the the circle equation x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. So what is a here? Uh, you know, there's no x plus coefficient. Well, really, there's a there's an artificial zero in there, isn't there? So it's a equals zero, and then we've got b equals three because y minus three, y minus b. So b must be a three, and r equals root eight, which you can cancel down uh, to two root two. So we've got a circle uh, center of zero three, and we've got a radius of root eight, or you know better. 2 root 2 in an exam. You know, you want to show the exam now that you want to simplify your answers as much as possible. Uh, so there you go, there's a little sketch of it there. You can see uh, the centre is at 0, 3 and the um, and the radius is, is just less than 3 uh, at 2 root 2. So Example 3 then, write the equation of a circle with centre 3 minus 5 and radius 10. So we're working in reverse this time. So this is the uh, equation of a circle, x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. Our a here is 3, our b here is minus 5, and our radius is 10. So plug in the numbers x minus 3 squared plus y plus 5 squared because minus minus 5 is plus 5 and r squared is 100 because 10 squared is 100. So we can, um, you know, go on from there, which, uh, you know, I, I would possibly recommend in an exam. I don't know, you know, leaving it as that uh, probably would get you the marks, but uh, I'm going to go a little bit further and just expand the brackets. So we've got x squared minus 6 x plus 9 plus y squared plus 10y plus 25 and then uh, we, we whittle it down to x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 10y equals 66. You don't have to do that but you might be given a circle equation in that form and be asked to find uh, the, the centre and radius which we're going to do next. So find the centre and radius of a circle with equation x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 6y minus 26 equals 0. You must think, how on earth are we going to do that? So we have to think, we want it in this form here. We want it in this x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. What do you know in terms of a, a method that we can get this x squared and this minus 2x into a bracket of, of x minus something squared. Well, x minus 1 squared will give us x squared minus 2x plus 1. That's exactly what we want. So we've got x squared minus 2x. We've got the two things up here. However, we've got this plus 1. So we're going to have to take away that 1 a little bit later on. But first we'll talk about the y. So we want something that is y squared minus 6y. So that is y minus 3 squared. So that will give us y squared minus 6y plus 9. But we've got an unwanted 9 there. But we'll come back to that in a second. So there you go. We've got x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 6y minus 26, which is the thing up here, is the same as x squared minus 1 squared. Sorry, x minus 1 squared minus 1 because remember, we want to get rid of this. So the way to get rid of that is to take a 1 off. We want to get rid of this minus 9, so we take away that minus 9. So it's y minus 3 squared minus 9. And then we've got our minus 26 dropping down from before. Just take a couple of minutes and, and work out why that is the case. Because if you expand this y minus 3 squared, you will get y squared minus 6y plus 9 right here. But we want to take that minus 9 off to make sure we just get um, the uh, y squared minus 6y as we had before. So that gets rid of the unwanted plus 1. That gets rid of the unwanted plus 9. And that is the real constant on the end that we had from before. So tidying that up, we get x minus 1 squared plus y minus 3 squared is 36. So that is a circle radius of 6 and a center radius, uh, sorry, a center of 1, 3. 
just take a couple of minutes to read over that. Uh, it is dead easy once you you know what you're doing. It's basically completing the square twice. That that is something you might hear people say. Um, so you complete the square on the x's and you complete the square on the y's, uh, which means you you half the coefficient um, of the respective letters. You know, uh, we half the two to get one. We half the six to get three. Um, if you've done completing the square you'll completely get where that's coming from. So example five then, find the center and radius of the circle with equation x squared plus y squared minus eight x plus 12 y minus 40 equals zero. So this time we're gonna half the coefficient of x, so it'll be x minus four all squared. So there you go, and if you expand that out again, you get x squared minus eight x plus 16. So we've got the x squared minus eight x, which is this bit. But we've got this unwanted plus 16, so we're going to have to think about taking that 16 off a little bit later. Then we've got uh, y plus 6 squared, because half of 12 is 6, and that gives us y squared plus 12y plus 36 when uh, we expand it out. So we want to take off that unwanted 36 a little bit later on. So... The original equation, x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 12y minus 40, is the same as x minus 4 squared minus 16, because we've got this, and we want to take off our unwanted square to get rid of this. We then have plus y plus 6 squared minus 36, because we want to get rid of this 36, this extra 36 that we've got, and then minus 40 from uh, before. So that gets rid of the unwanted plus 16, that gets rid of the unwanted 36, and that gets rid of the minus, uh, that is the minus 40 that carries on from before. So tidy it all up, and we get x minus 4 squared plus y plus 6 squared equals 92, and that uh, gives us a radius of root 92, which you can probably uh, whittle down a little bit, but I'm not entirely sure it does. Uh, check it on a calculator. And a center of 4, 6. Final uh, example then. You know, I've done a lot more examples in this in this video because it's typically a, a topic that students really struggle with. So I thought the more examples, the better for this. Uh, so this is a, a really hard exam type question, probably uh, question 12 or 13 on, a, on an old type SFM, FSMQ paper. I'm not entirely sure where it would fit into the new spec, uh, but I guess we'll find out in June. Uh, find the equation of a circle which has the line that joins 10, 7 to minus 2 as a diameter. Okay, so first of all, uh, we're going to have to find uh, the radius. So the center of the circle must be the middle of this line. Okay, we find the midpoint then, um, because it's a diameter. So if you think of a circle, uh, you, the diameter runs from one extreme point to the other, which will go through the center. Uh, so the center of the circle must be the midpoint. So uh, using the midpoint equation, uh, the average of the x's, average of the y's, we get 4, 4, which is nice. So that is the center of the circle. Now, uh, we need to find out uh, what that radius is. So the length of the diameter is the length of the line that joins the two. So we use our uh, length equation from before, stick in our coordinates, and we get uh, root 180, which is 6 root 5. But that's the diameter. The radius is half the diameter. So the radius is uh, 3 root 5, and you're done. You just plug them into the uh, circle equation and you get x minus 4 squared plus y minus 4 squared is equal to 3 root 5 squared, um, which is 45. So there you go. Uh, that is our circle and that is a hard type exam question. I can't imagine you'd get much harder than that um, uh, as a circle question, but the, the new spec is, is meant to challenge people. So, you know, I've given you all of the, the tools you need for your uh, armory in the exam uh, but basically remember the circle equation and remember how to complete the square and you can do anything with circles uh, as long as you know your basic geometry equations as well like the, the, the length equation and the midpoint equation etc etc but that is where we're going to leave it for today
if you found it helpful then make sure you leave a like down below uh, if you found it unhelpful make sure you let me know down in the comments what I can do to improve if you've got any questions let me know and uh, as always the, the lesson will be uploaded onto the Google Drive there will be a link to that in the description and best of luck for your FSMQ whenever it is uh, I hope you found it uh, really helpful thanks for watching and goodbye